was training a client the other night in martial arts and he said what's really cool about this is now I'm training for a purpose. Up until now I've been training to put on muscle, get big, get ripped, look great. For what reason? Now it seems that now I have a purpose to apply all that strength and power and fitness to in the form of the skill of martial arts, self-defense and self-confidence. That got me thinking about in people's careers they'll tend to go through different phases in their career. I've been 53, been a trainer for 35 years, I've run businesses or owned or owned my own business for 29 years and I've actually started 15 businesses in that journey. So I can look back and see the different phases that I went through and now I can see other trainers go through and I go, well that's interesting, they're in that phase. And I've been fortunate to be educated enough that there's three phases that you seem to go through. The first phase is when you're young, is you want to you go through the athletic phase where everything's about looking great, looking sexy, being buffed, uh, how much I can bench press, you know, how strong am I, aren't I wonderful, I'm a macho, I'm a Spartan, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the athletic phase where I see them all over Facebook showing their abs, showing how much they can deadlift, look at what they eat, and it's all about body, body, image, 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 athleticism and all that sort of stuff and that's all fine because that's just a part of growth and that's the phase you're going through. The only challenge with that phase you're so focused on yourself you don't actually, don't actually grow anything outside of yourself meaning a business, a purpose, a charity or something that is meaningful except for yourself and the reflection in the mirror and that's okay that's what that's what you go through. I've been there when I was 20 and many people are there now when they're 20. The challenge is if you're still there when you're 40 then that could be a challenge because that that ideally should move into the next phase is what we call the warrior phase. The warrior phase is where you really that hey I need to become successful so what you do is you, you you chase the business or the career you start to chase the money and grow the money and grow the financial security and start to look for success and climb the corporate ladder so that phase you start to focus on you know success in, in terms of how society sees it in terms of you know success and money and and position and and uh, the corporate ladder and titles and all sorts of stuff and that's all great and wonderful, but the challenge with that phase is in that phase, sometimes people start to lose the health that they gained in the athletic phase. So they start to be, go from that athletic Spartan into this corporate warrior, which has the big beer gut, uh, and they're stressed out, and they're not necessarily healthy. So they chase their wealth while compromising their health. So that's the warrior phase. Now, if you can maintain the health of the athletic phase through the warrior phase, then it's going to be a lot easier. If you don't, you will probably end up having heart attacks and high blood pressure and all sorts of major challenges. Now, if you survive the warrior phase, and in that phase you're always committed to personal development, self-education, uh, always learning, always growing, open to change, open to learning, which a lot of people aren't, they get so focused they lose all sight, but if you're open to that, then you start to gain all the lessons from your failures and your mistakes in that phase, and you start to apply them, and you move into the last phase of your career, which is the statesman's phase. So that's where you become very wise. You start to see things you didn't see before. It's not all about the body and the image. It's all about, you know, adding value to society. It's all about purposes. It's all about about charities, it's all about giving back to the world, and you start to see what's important and what's not important. You realize having a six pack is not that important, you realize money is not that important. Yes, you want, you want to be fit and healthy, and yes, you want to be financially free, but that's not the main focus of your life. The main focus of your life is living according to your values, uh, serving a greater purpose, a greater good, and giving back to society, and in the meantime, keeping yourself true to yourself without compromising yourself, which you tend to do when you go through the athletic phase and the worry phase. In the statesman phases, success becomes very easy because you become very wise and you become very experienced and you know what to put energy into and what not to put energy into. And you reserve that energy and you use just enough energy but not too much energy. So they're the three phases, the athletic phase, the worry phase and the statesman phase. What phase are you in? Well, you know just by listening to this and then make sure that you don't kill yourself in the athletic phase where you stay in that phase all your life but succeed at nothing else except having a good corpse that goes down to the grave because you've got a six pack. Make sure you don't kill yourself in the uh, warrior phase with heart attacks because or coronary heart disease and stuff like that because you get really stressed out and you lose sight of the, the meaning of life and try to get into the stages phase as early as possible where you start to really enjoy your life, things become easy and you just cruise through life and you tend to succeed at the things that are important to you and not necessarily everybody else and that would be no cow poo.